Okay, here we go. It looks like we're live, and uh, you know, I had uh, actually tried to do this hangout earlier with uh, the owner of Splash Wizard, Carl Bailey. He and I actually have known each other for oh, four or five years, I would imagine, and uh, it just we had some technical challenges, and I, I really couldn't figure it out. I'm pretty good with uh, computers, but I just couldn't figure out the situation. He couldn't ever hear me, and so that would have been really hard to do a Google Hangout. So, I apologize. I was not able to pull that off. We might be able to do something down the road, but um, anyway, the point is I wanted to, my mission really with Traffic Way for Profit is to, one, show anybody, I don't care if you're on my team or not, show anybody how the use of certain tools, specifically an autoresponder and other tools, can help them make money online and be profitable, have a home-based business, do it part-time, full-time, it really doesn't matter. Uh, most people will have to start part-time and move into full-time. I actually work 100% from home now and have for ooh, since 1998 so it's been a long it's been a great time working from home and so I'm in my home office uh, and I thought I would just cover and introduce Splash Wizard because it's a pretty it's a really nice tool and so again back to my purpose is to show people to teach people to mentor them on using simple tools, simple strategies to actually be able to connect with people online and share value like I'm doing here and show them how to make money online by offering value and building a list and connecting with people, helping them. Those are the basic steps. And so I've been with Traffic Wave since 2009. Um, I love the autoresponder. It's fantastic. It works really, really, really well. Okay. And so today, what we're going to do is once you have the autoresponder, what's next? Well, a lot of times you're going to want to create a what's called a capture page to capture the interest of someone who's going to visit your capture page, your website. And maybe they came from Facebook. Maybe they came from a YouTube video like I'm doing here. Maybe they saw your blog post. There's so many different ways. Maybe they read an article. Um, there's you know, notes on Facebook. There's just so many things. Maybe they saw a picture on Instagram. There are just so many cool ways. And I can't, I'm not going to cover every way uh, to market, but I'm going to help. Uh, certain ways of course and so today we're going to focus on what I believe could be a very useful tool for a lot of people not only in traffic way but other autoresponders as well but I think there's a nice match with those of you that are using traffic wave as your autoresponder so I'm going to share a little bit of insight what I've been doing with Splash Wizard and uh, be able to share that and then we might have some questions um, afterwards like within a couple weeks I could come back and do a more focused training on exactly how I use Splash Wizard but also importantly how you might want to use it for maybe a more specific way or I'm not sure but I'm just going to open the door and introduce you to Splash Wizard and then you can come back to me you can visit me on my Facebook group which is Traffic Wave for Profit anybody can come there and ask me questions there so that's a good way to connect with me also the um, I'm going to come back to some, a text message there but um, the other way is to put a comment in this YouTube video, okay? And uh, it's actually Sherry Kirkland, a good friend of mine, and uh, so she has a question on actually doing a hangout later today. So um, 
yeah, just put a comment if you have a question about Splash Wizard. Just when you're watching this, click. It's going to be in the title. Should be right above here. It's going to be uh, Traffic Wave for Profit introduces Splash Wizard. When you click on that title, it'll open up in a new YouTube page, and you'll see the video and all that. And then at the bottom of below this video, there's my description. But below that is comments. So anybody can ask a question or I would love some comments I would love some feedback as to this type of training does it really help you um, it, when you're beginning or when you're an established marketer does this type of training help you okay so you can meet me on Facebook and I'm gonna have a link on this blog post actually it's at the bottom it says connect with me on Facebook or probably the best is just to give me a comment on this video by looking for the title. It's going to be in this area here when it's playing. You'll hover your mouse over and you'll see the title. Traffic Wave for Profit introduces Splash Wizard. That's the name of this hangout. So just click on that. It'll open up in a new page on YouTube. And then go underneath the video. You can pause it and then post your comment and your questions. I get an immediate email when you make a comment or have a question. I'll respond and I'll answer that and I'll know exactly what questions you have. Uh, and, and the cool thing is other people will see those questions as well. So as they click on the title, come and post a comment, they might see your question and I answered it and then boom, all of a sudden everyone's on the same page. So it's kind of cool. So let me go ahead. I'm going to start uh, showing you a little bit of my screen on my desktop so you can begin to understand what Splash Wizard is. Okay, here we are. So um, I just went to splashwizard.com and that's where I'm starting. Now I am a member already, okay? But this is a picture of Carl Bailey. He's the administrator, the uh, creator of the website, creator of the, the entire system, and it's really, really nice. You can just see uh, the quality and the just the overall flow is really, really nice, and this type of uh, splash page can be created very easily, okay? Now, free members, let me talk about that br briefly, and I'll highlight right here. Um, if you are a free member, you can kind of test the waters to a limited to degree and you can still make a commission if someone you refer decides to upgrade and be a pro. Now I'm going to recommend the pro member. I mean, every tool that I use pretty much the best uh, bells and whistles you get is when you're a pro or when you're an upgraded member. Okay, But you can be a free member and if you refer somebody and they upgrade and it's only ten dollars a month, which is really good. Uh, you'll make a twenty-five percent commission every month. Okay. Now um, you get basically all you get as a free member is an affiliate splash page. So it'll be a link, a web web address with your number at the end. It won't be this one, but you will get a link with a special affiliate splash page. Okay. Now here is one of the cool things: pro members get unlimited splash pages okay so really the best of it is being to create being able to create splash pages and get commissions uh, to make some extra cash flow so that you can afford to do you know other tools pay for your traffic wave account pay for some advertising all sorts of cool things okay so the arrows really describe where to go so I'm gonna click enter splash wizard and then on the top right, you get this blinking arrow, okay? Carl's a really great programmer. He's really smart. So you just see a little button here, and you click there. And this is uh, what you will see when you're just coming in. And what you would want to do if you want to join, probably don't go to SplashWizard.com. If you're watching my video and you haven't, uh, haven't been referred by somebody else, you'll see a, a link on my blog or possibly on this video where you can join and um, you know I appreciate your support if I've helped you be uh, more
professional in helping you with this tool, then uh, it makes sense to maybe join with me. But if you have somebody that you're already working with, please check with them first, okay? I, I'm not here to steal people. I'm not a uh, type of person that does that type of thing. So you can click the join, and it's basically really simple. You're just going to put in an email address, which is the way he can communicate with you, and then you'll click create your free account. So right here, you just put in your best email address, and then click the create your free account, and you'll uh, go through the process. You'll get an email as a confirmation to make sure you entered the correct email, and then you'll be a free member right away. Now, I'm going to go in inside and show you about uh, the pro membership. So I'm going to click close, and this really, this whole website is just designed off this little corner button and some uh, things that you'll see on the right hand side. Okay, well, I'll click close. I'm going to go into the login because I'm a member, of course. So I'll click on login. Now, my browser, I'm using Google Chrome. It remembers not only my member ID but my password. Okay, so that's very handy. Um, I also use Roboform, which helps me remember, um, so I don't have to remember. But it's a tool that uh, helps me remember usernames and passwords. So I highly recommend that. Anyway, I'm clicking logging into Splash Wizard. Okay, this is the back office. Okay, so um, he has some steps like update your gravatar or your profile and your gravatar. That's just your picture, and then your name. And so uh, you just basically follow through these instructions, and you're going to see a start here on the right hand side that's where you start okay so read all the words I mean it's a very simple site it really is it's not complex Carl has programmed this to make this uh, easy to understand so read all the words carefully first take your time it's not a race it's a great tool just take your time don't rush okay there are some FAQs uh, for quick answers the uh, FAQs uh, probably going to be down in the support area, as I recall. Um, so check that. Actually, they're right here. What? What? You know, it's right here. The second item, right there. FAQs. Okay. So if I click that, um, there they are. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. A lot of simple, basic questions. They might have already been answered right here for you. Okay. So check those. When you're done, you can click close. Okay. Contact support, which is Carl Bailey, uh, if you need more info. I'm going to have try to support as many uh, people as I can. And even if you're not maybe personally sponsored by me, I'll try to support you as best as I can. Obviously, if I do these hangouts and trainings, it's going to support you uh, whether you're sponsored by me or not. Okay. Now, here's an important part right at the bottom if you don't even, if you don't see a save button it's already saved okay so that's really cool as you go through this you don't have to click save and remember all the he he actually designed the website to do that for you okay so the start here as we go through there uh, you know read through here as I've done okay and if you're if you just want to be a free member um, you just basically get an affiliate link that you can promote, and you can do that through your autoresponder. Okay, you can have a series of emails that talk about uh, Splash Wizard, and you can even have this video in your email, and then you can have your affiliate link to Splash Wizard. Okay, now again, I'm going to tell you the best way to go is really pro, but there are those that will just want to test the waters out, and I understand that. Okay, pro members, um, you can create as many splash pages, and I'm going to cover that. And uh, then you get your affiliate links under the promo tools. You can see on the on the right hand side here's promo tools. Okay, I'll go ahead and click the uh, close button. Now the up down will also help in navigation and, and reading information and, and accessing information in this window, but I'll click close, okay? Um, you can add basic information. Uh, it's really self-explanatory. If you want a picture that's actually kind of good, 
it's not essential. Um, if you put in your name, that'll sometimes be used on some of your capture pages, which could be very handy. Okay, you can enter in your email just so that Carl can connect with you and give you good, helpful information. Okay, now I'm going to pop over to my splashes. Okay, so I'll just click once there, and I've made a couple. Okay. And uh, we're looking at one. I created a hangout list. I'm going to cover that later. But let's just click on uh, this 14740. It's the number of the splash page that I created. And I just, it's a general splash wizard page that I'm going to show you. So you have a view button, and that'll open up in a new tab. So a new tab would be right here. And that way it could come back to the main page. Or I could be watching me or you know editing and doing things on the second tab. If I need to edit it, those that's the button right there. If I need to clone it, this is really awesome by the way. If you go to all the work of creating one splash page and then you're like, oh, I just want to slightly vary it, you know, maybe for split testing. Split testing meaning two different pages that are slightly different, you'll you'll figure out. Uh, which one might work better, um, and so that can be a helpful thing. And you have the delete button. I don't think there's much reason to de delete stuff. It's it's okay to leave it there. Uh, and then this is really cool. You can actually share uh, your pages that you create, especially if you're in a let's say you're a network marketer or some type of uh, affiliate. You know, you might have referrals. And in order to help them, you can just check this box, and as soon as you do that, they will see a button in their office where they can uh, basically use your template. Okay, this is really cool. Uh, they can use your template and not have to recreate the wheel from scratch. Okay, so I don't have any referrals yet, but I'm going to, so um, that's fine. So here's the URL. And basically, uh, you just do a left click, which highlights it. And then uh, Carl basically just shows a right click. So you choose a right click and then choose copy. If you want to uh, copy the, the URL of the splash page. Now, what's easy, easier is um, to actually uh, just view it because it opens in a new tab. So rather than copying all that, I'll just click view. Okay, it's opening up. Now, what I did was just show you, and I just I just love how well this works. Uh, I created this splash page, capture page. When I say splash page, it means the same as a capture page. Because why? There's room or there's an area to capture a person's name and their email. That is crucial. That is how you build a business. You capture names and email addresses and when they click subscribe here in this case they would uh, be subscribed they would be on my traffic wave list they would be on my traffic wave database and I have permission to send them emails automatically through a series of emails if I've set that up and 99 percent of the time you do have an automated series okay and then you can also broadcast a broadcast through your back office in traffic wave and I'll cover these in greater detail in the very near future uh, but this basically is the beginning of your business now what's really nice is I have a YouTube video right here so you can build in a YouTube video because sometimes it's great to explain what's going on or the purpose of your capture page or give more um, value to what you're offering so you can have a YouTube video and it it just floats above your splash page and behind I have this beautiful shot of the uh, space shuttle taken off it's just a very captivating page okay and it's this is part of the uh, beautiful look that you get with splash wizard okay now I did set up a very simple title which I put brand new uh, that's always a good thing to maybe uh, encourage people to you know look at you have something brand new okay so that's a good title I'll cover how I did this in just a second 
The second point I have is the YouTube video, and it's it's just a very good way of um, giving information that you don't want to have a very long a lot of text on your page. You can just do a video, okay? And then I have a kind of like a subheader, how to go to from zero to five thousand plus, okay, in sixty days. That's actually a capture page that I've worked with in the past, so I just took that same um, headline and used it here. Now, um, I personally, I never try to say things that I've never done, so I actually have generated up to $5,000 in 60 days, so I have a step-by-step -step on how to do that. So I always personally make it something that I can uh, prove or that I've done. I never want to overhype my splash page. Um, the next very good information to put is uh, tell the prospect what you're looking for them to do. So entering in their best email to see how. It's this. I'm giving you some really good ideas, by the way, for your capture page. And you can, you know, model mine, which means use some of what I have and, and customize it. Uh, but basically these are bullet points and information that is attractable and it will get people interested in wanting to know more. Now what's really, really, really nice is Carl Bailey has set it up that when you enter, when you have your autoresponder set up, it will, um, the, the form will say enter your name right here and then the lower portion of it says enter your email. That is a tricky little step, but Carl Bailey does it for you automatically. So you don't even have to worry about that. That's really a, that's a huge advantage of using Splash Wizard is it really looks nice and it gives your prospect exactly what to do, where to do it and all that. Okay. Now I've added my photograph down here. Not all the time do I add it, but sometimes I do because you'll have people that know you already or maybe you're building a team or you know and you, you want you want your referrals or your partners to join and get more information. Okay, you can have your photo embedded into or put onto the splash page. Okay, now I've described how this looks. It's really, really nice. The photographs and how fast they load everything is really fast. In fact, why don't I just take that and I'll just repaste it in again and hit enter, and it's just really fast. Okay, now typically with images this large, they, they would load slowly. And you don't want to have something slow. You want something fast. So Carl has optimized these images to load quickly, and that's very important. So I'm going to close this, and we're going to go back to editing. We're actually in the first tab. We're on the only tab now. I'm going to go ahead and through and edit, and there are some things I'm going to remove and show you how to change um, so that you can modify yours. Now in the top right, you just go up here and you get your little menu. Okay, so um, things like the reference name, I'll, I'll point that out. I just called it Splash Wizard just because in this demonstration, in this Hangout, I was demonstrating Splash Wizard. So I don't have it set up to go into any particular uh, system or campaign or whatever. I just I'm just calling it Splash Wizard. So whatever you put in here will be a reference name for you, so you know what Splash page it is. Okay. So try to um, name your Splash page just something that makes sense to you. What is this going to help you do, or what's it related to? And that's what the name should be. Okay. So that's under reference name. Now here's the backgrounds. Now this is awesome. Okay, there's actually upwards of 131. I think Carl's been adding some new backgrounds, and he may add more, and I'm sure he will. But if you want to change the background, and you just scroll through and find things that appeal to you. Uh, but and I really like the uh, the the 
space shuttle liftoff because it's like launching your business. Something you know, it matched my concept or my uh, brand new system. How to go from zero, which you know you always start on the launch pad. How to go, you know, up to five thousand dollars in sixty days. That launch pad, that that space shuttle shot, really works. But you know, this is a cool little image here. So watch how quickly you can modify the background. I'll just click once, and now I have this really cool Earth kind of silhouette and again your splash page just hovers over the top and is mostly transparent it's just really really nice by the way I should also point out when you have a YouTube video the user the viewer can make it smaller okay um, and you can see more behind the uh, kind of this uh, capture page here it's just really cool I mean I I really like this. I I think it just makes it makes you look more sophisticated when you have a really nice capture page. So uh, changing the background, it's simple. Whatever you see is what you get. So if you click on an image and then you can click close, you can really take a look at the effect right away. Okay, so that is extremely easy. Now the uh, lift off shot is down the way and by the way I really like this image too um, things that are simple uh, just are, are nicer and I all, I have this off to the side this uh, the information is off to the left side I'll show you how to set that up okay so the backgrounds awesome stuff and you just keep scrolling down and I'll find the uh, I'm gonna turn it back to the uh, Space Shuttle launch in just a second. There's tons of great images, and by the way, they're all optimized. You won't you won't have to figure this out. You don't have to you know guess. It's just that simple. I'm having to go down quite a ways here to find that Space Shuttle. I'll get it. There it is. Okay. So just click once, and boom, it's done. There's no save button. It's already saved. Okay, just click close and your splash page is ready to go. Now let's take a look at box settings. This is where the box of your information is. So you can do center, okay, and it's saved. Or you can do left, and now it'll shove it over to the left, or you could shove it to the right. Okay. So whatever you think, you know, based on the design of the picture. Now I really felt like on the left side was good. Okay. Now another point I don't want this is everything is showing really well without me having to scroll down. If you have to scroll down to see everything, that's not going to be good. Keep your headlines, your information short and to the point. Use mine as a guide, experiment, play with it, you know, try to consider what is going to connect with your audience the best. Okay? So the box setting is the initial position of the splash display. Um, and if you have a larger screen, it will really be apparent. If someone has a small screen, left and center may not be that big of a difference. Okay, but If you have a larger screen, you'll see the difference. Now, I don't play with the opacity, um, but as you can see, uh, the 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 transparency went away when I hit darker and then darkest it just blots it out it's almost black I kind of like the normal look so you can see partially through but if you have a background that is conflicting somehow with some of your text you can change the opacity right here and try darker or maybe even darkest it'll take that right out okay pretty cool you don't have to save anything so once you have it set up just click close Okay, video. Now, this is really simple. There is a lot of complexity in videos. All you need is a YouTube link. Okay, so in this case, I just put the YouTube link, and you can find the share link or the watch link. Now, let's just take this link. I'm going to hit copy, right click, and copy. So I'm going to show you where that video link is. So, in a new tab, I'm going to click and open up a new tab. I'm going to right click 
and choose paste and go to paste in my YouTube video link. And I will pause the video. Hey, well it's okay. So you can use this link here, which is youtube.com watch question mark V for the video, and then there's the ID of the video. Is that that link will work? Or you can even do a right click on the uh, video itself and you can copy the video URL or you can come down underneath the video to the share. Click on share once and this will be the highlighted YouTube link you can use for your YouTube video. Now I'm not saying you're going to use mine, I'm just showing you how to use any video okay, on YouTube. Granted that you have permission and it speaks to what you're trying to, prom to promote, okay? So just uh, once you find the share link, just copy it and you can right click and choose copy. And then come back to your splash wizard. And whatever is, uh, if, it that, if that is blank inside there, you can right click and choose paste. And then this has a save button, okay? So you need to click save. And then Splash Wizard will do its thing. We need to bring back the menu by clicking here. And we can go back to video. Now, this is really a nice thing too, autoplay. Sometimes it's good, and I can just turn that on. And see how... Hey, well, it's Chase Swift here. See how autoplay will really... It, it, it played automatically. So... Sometimes when a person goes to your splash page, it's really nice to have the video play automatically. I'll bring back the menu and down to video. Okay, so uh, video uh, autoplay is on, or you can turn it off. Now, in this case, I just have it off because I don't need it to autoplay, but that's how you would turn it to autoplay. Now the start size could either be large or small. Okay, so there's the smaller size. I really like how well this works. So clicking back here, coming back to video, you see it's set at small. Okay, and the, and the user can always go back and make the video larger or make it smaller either way. Okay, it's really cool. You'll get that nice transparent look as you uh, mouse, you know, scroll up and down, and just really cool. I love that. That is fab, just fabulous. Notice also you can put other video like Vimeo. Uh, just try the link to the video and paste it in there, and if, it, if, it's, if it's a good format, it should work. And for sure, YouTube video, which is extraordinarily uh, popular, that'll work. Okay? Make sure to... Click save after you post your link. That's the only save button. Okay, so I'm going to click close. Now, if you uh, actually, if you want to uh, delete, just click on delete. If you want a video and you want to take it off, boom. Okay, now my splash page is even simpler and easier to read. Um, it's not scrolling much because it's just so small. But what a nice capture page. It's just right at the top right off on the left side and boom they can put their name and email that's that's really great so come back so you can use video or not depends what you're trying to do okay so I'll click close there let's come down branding I think this is where we were having our name okay and the picture so um, I think the frame is on I'm gonna turn it off the frame is a little white line around your picture and for for me I thought it defined it now if you don't want that off you just click off if you don't want your name under there you can just delete that okay and then uh, let's see leave these blank if you put and I'm not sure if there's a way to remove the photo um, like I said I don't use the photo all the time of myself in fact you don't need one actually but if you have uh, team members uh, let's just click close and see if that did that. No. But uploading allows you. Ah, uh, there it is. So if I click on upload and I want to delete the image, let's try that. 
Okay. So you can see that if you want to uh, put in an image, you need to upload it. Uh, so you need to select the file, and it'll ask you where it is on your hard drive. Once you click open, just click upload image, and then your image will be uploaded. So let me show you one more time how to do that. I'm going to click select file. And on mine, I have uh, pictures. Let's go to here, to here. I don't have my standard pictures on this computer. Let's see if I have something on the desktop. I think I used, actually, it's a little large, but uh, let's just click that. So that would work for an image. I'll click open. And then click upload. And then it does its thing. It uploads that image and it'll resize it just for the right size. And there we go. And then you could put your name or whatever you want underneath as you type it in. It appears on the left side. And then click frame if you want. I like the frame just to delineate the border. And that's it. And close. If you don't want the image, uh, we can click on branding, click on upload, and then down to delete image, and there you are. Okay? So that's done. So now we have a really simple page. It'll load quickly, all that good stuff. You may not need a video all the time. Okay? It depends what you're doing. Okay? Now the autoresponder, let me show you that. Okay? So this is where you're going to go into your back office of TrafficWave, okay? So you can see all the code is in the blue area right here. And what this is is just the all the settings for your autoresponder for the very specific campaign, okay? Uh, so what you would do is, I'm going to close tab 2 and just log into TrafficWave. Okay, I use RoboForm because it remembers my username and password all the time. It's really a challenge if you're struggling to log in, you need to look at tools that will help you um, be better at that. Okay, all right, so once you're in your back office, you would go to whatever autoresponder campaign. So just click once on autoresponder. Okay, and this campaign I think was like my uh, Traffic Way for Profit Hangout. I just think I did it as a test. I've got a lot of campaigns. Yeah, right here. So this is the uh, Hangouts. So I'm going to click once on that campaign. Okay, this campaign, you can see all the drop down, um, you can see all your campaigns here. This is my series of letters about the Traffic Way for Profit Hangouts that I do. You will pick whatever campaign that you want your splash page to send out, to send out the, the series of emails. So pick whatever campaign you want to use for your letters, okay? Then you'll see this tab here for Capture Pages and Forms. The forms are the, the the code that will put the form, and that's what this is. It's your name, you know, enter your name, enter your email, and subscribe. That is a form on the internet on your on this web page. That's why it's referred to in Traffic Wave under your back office app under the capture pages and forms. Click on forms to generate the capture form. Okay? Now, you can uh, get basic HTML form, if you, and I'll cover more advanced things right now. Most of the time, you'll just get basic form code, so you can click once, and then Traffic Wave is generating that code. You can either use, uh, I believe you can use the JavaScript, which is simpler, and it's the same code as raw HTML. I used raw HTML just because I'm a little more used to it, but if you click once, it'll highlight it, and it'll highlight all of it, because you need all of that code. So whether you use JavaScript, and that is recommended, it's actually quite good. Just click once, 
and you can choose copy by right clicking and then it's in memory and then come back over to splash wizard let's pretend I'll just take this out so I'll delete that so this is the AR form code is form code is the autoresponder form code okay so I'm gonna right click in here choose paste and you're gonna see a script on all this numbers and all that that's important you wanna make sure you have to the end where it says script and it even has that bracket okay don't mess with it don't don't change it at all and once you get it all set up um, it's it's set okay so um, if you want to delete it there's a delete button the sample is he puts in a sample himself okay so that is it now you can click close and now this will respond to if someone puts in their name so if I put my name and then I put in my email okay whatever it is when I hit subscribe, I will get the autoresponder messages from TrafficWay. Okay? That's how that works. It works extremely well. And again, when you get your mouse out of there, it'll say enter your name, enter your email. That is a big step. And you don't have to fiddle with all the special stuff in the back office of TrafficWay to do that. Okay? Okay. Uh, Carl Bailey does it for you. It's really, really sweet. Okay? Now, that's really all you need to do. So let's just cover it again. Let's go to your autoresponder. Pick the campaign that, you're, uh, that you want to use. Okay? And mine was way down at the bottom. Okay? Like, let's say, like, you know, the list of uh, hangouts. Okay? Once you're there, and, and you already have letters, by the way. I already have letters. And I'm getting subscribers, but you want to set up the capture page and form, so you just choose forms and then get the basic HTML form code, or you can use the JavaScript. And just click once and then copy it. And you'll come back to your splash page. You'll open up your autoresponder and you'll paste that in there. Okay? Now mine is uh that's all set that I didn't change it so that's fine okay so uh, let's see do, 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 do. what are some considerations best not to use your form valid validation what that means is it's gonna validate whether it's an, a proper email okay so uh, if you're using traffic wave um, the validation is used is done by splash wizard so let's go back here and what this, uh, what the JavaScript is doing is, is going to validate that uh, you, that someone put in a correct email, like with the at sign and dot com and things like that. So they, they it's checking that it's uh, appearing that they're entering in their email correctly and putting in a name. So if you want to, you can just use the raw HTML, which is fine, or you can use the JavaScript. But really, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. But what um, Carl Bailey is saying is he will verify that the user is putting in a valid something for the name and something that is based on an email address so it has the at sign and all that okay so um, you can only do first and last names and email if you do other forms with other variables they will not show okay the submit button will, the submit button will open another window that's really handy so when they click subscribe it'll open up in a new tab and they can uh, confirm and all that with which is what they do with traffic wave you have to confirm your subscription okay now the best thing to do is just put in your code and make sure it's good and then test it so you would test it with your name. I, I put in a name that's obviously not me, like Donald okay, Duck, or you can use names of presidents or whomever, and then put in an email that is not associated with your Traffic Wave account. I use something different. So try to use a different email. So 
whatever email, uh, not your traffic wave email, okay, and then like at gmail.com, okay. So just use a different email because when you're testing this, it's good not to use your traffic wave email because it, it confuses you. You're like, wait a second, is this right? Is this working? If you put in a name that you know is not yours and an email that you have access to but that it's not your traffic wave email, the email is associated with your account. Okay, then click subscribe, and it will uh, it will be a good test, and that is important to test. I always test my capture forms and make sh making sure that they work. Okay, we've got a few more things to do. Um, you have the call to action, and this is really cool. You get to put in these buttons or these arrows, and the arrows just help. You just click, and boom, it's there. And on different pages, you're going to find that different arrows will look better. That, because it's so dark blue, would not be the best. Uh, but something very visible, the green, would certainly be visible. And as you see, I just click here, and boom, it's updated. You can also say whatever you want here, the, uh, the little message. Just type that right up here. So you could say join here. Okay. Or I like subscribe here. As you see, as you type it on the right-hand side here, it's updating right here. So what you see is what you get, which is really, really cool. Um, you can say, send me the info, okay? And then they would see that, and they, after they enter their name and email, boom, send me the info. Now, I like the word info because... They may not know whether they're getting um, sent to a video or an email letter. So I like info as far as what you're going to be sending them. You might sending them to a video page as well after, uh, after they confirm. Uh, there's lots of choices there. And don't worry if you don't know what all these options are. You don't need to. Uh, basically, just build your list and send out good emails and good follow-up and you'll do very well. As you get more advanced, you'll, you'll definitely understand this more. Now, I like this little red curved arrow. I just seems that that to me was really nice. So I like that. Now, this is really cool. You get either a dark text. Now, that's hard to read on this capture form. Okay, send me the info. Very difficult to read. So obviously use light text and it's readable, okay? Now, this is really something special. The button colors, uh, and this, Carl Bailey, I uh, met with him and he, he showed me and talked to me about this, but the background colors, click here, and these colors that are all right down here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's 12 colors. These are the 12 colors that are associated with this picture and these colors are the most predominant colors so it is cool because as I click the tan this tan is kinda of like the tan of the smoke or the you know this huge ball of cloud okay and all the other colors relate to the colors of the image so it's kind of like matching the colors of your image, okay? Now let's go ahead and just close this, by the way, and let's change a very different background. And I'll click here. You're going to see how this uh, really affects. Let's go to the call of action again, and back to the background colors. And you can see these colors are completely different, okay? So these colors relate to the colors of these images, of this background image. Okay, so you can see how a certain color is just going to match and it's just going to look nice. So I really like that and so each image will have its own dominant colors and you can pick whichever one you like, whatever you, whatever you think, but Carl has made it that these are the 12 most dominant colors that appear the most.
and it depends on what image you're using and I'm going to go back uh, to my background and I'll just scroll down here it was about uh, halfway down I think for that uh, space shuttle image so I'll go there a little quicker I may have gone by it so let's come up there it is so again whatever image you are using your call to action the background colors will it'll all automatically figure out what are the most predominant colors I think it's just a handy way to pick colors that relate to the background okay that actually looks pretty good I like that okay so give that a try and whatever you feel is the most eye-catching and pleasing to the eye is going to be the best okay I think that one looks really quite good so though that describes the call to action I mean is this cool or what the destination is the URL of where you want to go after they hit um, the uh, send me the info okay so uh, if not using a responder okay actually you can create little sales videos I guess and then say join here or something like that so if you don't use an autoresponder okay so that's why it says here if you're not using the autoresponder uh, enter the URL for the visitors to view after they click your call to action button okay so I'm using an autoresponder as you should most of the time but if you wanted to um, you know send them to a website make sure you enter the full website with the HTTP and everything okay so if I were to send them to Google I would just paste in uh, the Google paste in the website and and test it okay and then you would click save now, I'm not going to do that uh, because I have the autoresponder so this in this situation um, I don't want to use this because I'm using the autoresponder Okay, the last few areas are the headline. Okay, and remember, I put in brand new. Anything you type here, I'll just type, I'll type one, two, three. It'll show right in your headline immediately. So what you see is what you get. Okay, so if I'm going to take out the one, two, three, just back space that out, and it's set. There is no save. Uh, you can leave it blank if you want. Okay, so blank would just be like that. That's fine too. Although I do like a headline for myself. I think it's good to have something a little bit uh, short and catchy, something that attracts the attention and gets the interest of the viewer. Okay. The last button really that we have is the subtext down at the bottom. And here's where you can see that I put how to go from zero. 5060 days blah 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 I don't have bullets but if you put a bullet uh, this is how it's going to look okay so it's going to have a little bullet so you could have bullet point one I'll just copy that for ease bullet point two and bullet point three okay so you have three little bullet points try not to get this uh, opt-in form too far down on the page you want to have it high up so keep your bullets short and to the point I'm going to take those out just because and I don't there's nothing wrong with them but I just kept it very simple and this is where I put enter okay enter your best email below to see how so that's the lower subtext area I mean you just type it in there and what you see is what you get okay once you get it the way you like it and this shows you how many characters uh, you can have so you can have 59 characters or actually that's how many I'm using you can have 80 so uh, I have 39 in my lower subtext I could do 80 so let's just double that and just copy that this will look silly but you could put in that much text as far as your lower subtext because I'm at 79 characters right there. Okay, now that looks terrible, of course. So I delete that out and paste it back in. Done. So this 
is awesome. I, it makes you look great mainly because of all of these wonderful backgrounds that you get and they are optimized to be loaded quickly and they're just beautiful to look at. Uh, so your splash page, you are going to look very professional. You're going to look uh, like you really know what you're doing, and which you do because you're using Splash Wizard. Okay, so the backgrounds, the settings, the the ease, everything is here. Okay, now I should say that once you're done, you want to go back. You can just click on the back home. And you're back to the main menu where you can look at your splashes and. Um, you got all sorts of other things, and I won't go into all of these uh, in de detail. I'll leave it up to you if you have questions for me to do another hangout. Uh, but you can go to your splashes, and again, uh, I'm going to bring up that lower one. If I click on view, it's going to open it up in a new tab. There's the Seattle skyline background, which is beautiful, by the way. And that's a that's an awesome image, and it loads lightning fast. So you don't want a uh, big image that takes forever to load. That's one thing I when I saw this I realized this is really awesome. Carl has done a great job. Okay, if you need to modify anything, you just go back to the tab where you were, and um, you can uh, look at everything. Here's the other page that I had created. So this is. If you want to know about my Hangouts, you click on View. Okay, you can find this on my blog uh, at trafficwayforprofit.com. And if you want to get on my Hangouts and uh, be notified every time I do a Hangout and a new training, uh, it should be able to. It should really help you with your Trafficway business. So you can subscribe and you'll get an immediate notification. Now let me just show you this real quick. I'll go to trafficwayforprofit.com, and this loads my blog. Okay, anybody can come here. I don't have any problems with any you no know, training anybody. But on the left hand side, you'll see this Traffic Wave for Profit Google Plus Hangout List. Click on that, and that'll load this blog post where you can see exactly how to confirm and enter your name and all the things. All you have to do is click on this image to uh, get on the Google Hangout notification. And if you want to use Splash Wizard, um, it, it'll also, uh, there's a blog post I have about Splash Wizard right here. And that'll take you to this Hangout that I'm doing right now. So as I click that, I'm right back to the Hangout where you'll be able to watch this video and learn how to use Splash Wizard. So. Um, I really appreciate you being here. I think I've covered uh, everything that I wanted to. Uh, don't don't worry about subscribing. I'm not going to sell you other stuff. I'm just going to give you pure content value for coming to uh, these Google Hangouts. And uh, if you do want to join Splash Wizard, uh, you're able to do that as a free member or as a pro upgraded member. And I'll show you. Let's go to my blog again. I'm going to reset myself at the home. Okay. And uh, let's go down to the Hangout. This is the second Hangout that I've done. And it's the Splash Wizard Hangout. Oh, let's reset that. There it goes. And I think what I'll do is just have uh, yeah, actually this image right here is the image if you if you want to join Splash Wizard and your sponsor is not using Splash Wizard, just click on uh, this image. Now what I'm going to do is log out so you'll see how it looks. You can also close out of Traffic Wave, our favorite autoresponder. And uh, let's just do close down my tabs just so I can show you what it, how it's going to look. Now, I'm going to go at the bottom here 
is a logout. Okay, when you test your pages, it's always best to log out of things. Okay, so at the bottom here, right above uh, my signature and all that, this image. If you want to join Splash Wizard with me, either as a free member or as a pro, just click right there, and you'll see that you're joining with me. It'll say Chase Swift right there. Okay, then just click Wizard the Wizard now. And you start up with the top right, as I showed. And I'm still kind of, well, you're, it's showing that um, you're joining with me. And then you can just click Join. Okay? Click Join and put in your best email, and uh, you'll be ready to go. And I appreciate you if you're joining with me. I also appreciate if you're joining with somebody else. And uh, I'll help you as best as I can in either situation. Okay, so that's how to join with me, uh, either as a free member, as a pro member, and uh, you can also join with somebody else. I'm I'm perfectly fine with that. So I'm going to switch back over and uh, bring up my webcam. There we go. So I um, hope you enjoyed this hangout, and uh, I will continue to do more hangouts. If you want more specific how-tos or you're having a question or you need help for your team, just type some things in the comments of this video. I'll get an email and I'll be able to respond and help you in any way. And I really would like to help you because it's just my focus, my, my desire to help a lot of people achieve the independence that I have. And, and one of the best tools is Traffic Wave. Splash Wizard's another one that makes you look so good. And uh, we'll talk about more things that will help you in your business. And uh, if I can be any, of any help, I'm glad to do that. So thanks for coming today, and we'll see you on the next Hangout. Be sure to subscribe and give me comments and all that good stuff. Uh, and you can subscribe for further Hangouts, and I'll let you know when they are. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.